When we think about exercising with kettlebells or any type of weightlifting equipment, it's important to understand the concepts of planes of motion. Understanding the different planes of motion can help us create a more balanced and effective workout and can also help us prevent injury. So what are the three planes of motion and how do they apply to kettlebell exercises? First, let's define the three planes of motion. The three planes of motion are the sagittal plane, the frontal plane and the transverse plane. The sagittal plane is the vertical plane that defines the body in the left and right halves. Exercises that occur in the sagittal plane involve movements of forward and backwards, such as a kettlebell swing or a lunging motion. The frontal plane is the vertical plane that divides the body in the front and back half. Exercises that occur in the frontal plane involve movements that are side to side, such as the lateral lunge or a kettlebell lateral raise. The traverse plane is the horizontal plane that divides the body into the top and bottom half. Exercises that occur in the traverse plane involve rotation, such as the kettlebell Turkish get-up or Russian twist. Now that we understand the three planes of motion, how do we apply this knowledge to our kettlebell exercises? It's important to include exercises in all three planes of motion in your kettlebell workouts to create a well-rounded and balanced routine. This means including exercises that involve movements that are forward and backwards, side to side, and rotation. For example, a kettlebell workout might include exercises such as a swing, lunges, lateral raises, and a Turkish get-up. This way you're hitting all three planes of motion and challenging your body in different ways. Remember, including exercises from all three planes of motion can help prevent imbalances and injuries and can also lead to better overall results in your fitness journey. We hope this video has helped you understand the concepts of planes of motion and how you can apply it to your kettlebell workouts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.